everyone and welcome back to another episode of SPL Social, the show just about the Singapore Premier League. I'm Ash Hashim from Futbolita, your host. And once again, we're on to episode 14 today and we're joined by two very young gentlemen from the league itself. We have Jared Gallagher as well, Joshua Pereira. Thank you so much guys for joining me. Of course, Jared plays for Young Lions and Joshua for Geelang International. And I would say that they are the young, the future of Singapore football. Andy. <sighs> <laughs> all smiles here But before before we get to the questions Of course, uh, this show is just about you guys We've got you guys to send in your questions But once again, I want to remind you all That you know you can get involved by leaving your comments below We are also going to be having a guest The last goal scorer contest For the game between, uh, I believe, Tanjung Pagar And Lion City Sailors this weekend But you know, what a weekend it's been In the Singapore Premier League, guys Let's start with some reactions first um, Alberic, you know <laughs> That surprise, uh, <laughs> that surprise has been over. You know, favorite Lion City Sailors, Jared. I'm sure you've been following the league as well. Um, you know, your quick thoughts on that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think um, it wasn't. I, I expected Sailors to come out, you know, and win, considering they've they've never beat Alberts before. I thought, like, especially a home crowd, all this sort of stuff, they would come out and 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 get a good win. But I guess Alberts had, had other plans, and they, to be fair, they played really well. So, I mean, congrats to them. them yeah. Nick, You're facing them next, though. You're facing them next. Yeah. So all the best for that, right, Young Lions. Thank all right, you, um, you. and Joshua as well. Geelong surprise one nil win over Tanjung Paga. What a goal though from Bezacourt, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> how how goal, is the team but... feeling, right? How is how is the team feeling after it's that? It's great. Game? The atmosphere is great because it's been a long time coming. This first win in about eleven games. Although our, we were unlucky at times, but it's good to get this first win and we move on from here. Yeah. Can I just let's get a quick sort of overview? How have you guys both been doing in your clubs and your season so far? Maybe Jared, I'll start with you first. At Young Lions, um, I think like this is technically my my first year in the SPL, so it's been it's been very new and challenging in different ways. I think it's been very stop start for Young Lions this year. You know, we had AFF in in February, and then we also had the C Games. So it's been it's been challenging to you know change our mindset from from under 23s to, to young lines but i've been really enjoying it personally you know i'm i'm learning a lot every single minute on the pitch has been really helpful and and challenging so i'm i'm enjoying it yeah yeah and welcome to spl as you said first season ever Thank you. you know you have i think you have a long uh you know a long way ahead you know in the in singapore uh, football so we wish you all the best of course but um joshua what about yourself how's your, how have you uh, been so far in your season at gelang yeah it's been a pretty funny season because I joined mid-season, just before mid-season because of NS. So yep. once I already I joined Gelang and I had to keep up the fitness again, like restart. So I actually missed one uh, yo-yo test due to COVID. Wow. And then, yeah, the next one I took and then I had to play against LBRX and then I got injured and I stopped off on the 30th minute. So, so far, it's going okay. Getting back on track, but it's been tough for me, personally. Okay, but I mean, you were talking about, you know, having finished ORD. So, you know, that, that challenge, I guess, you know, of, of seem, uh, I would say, continuing after NS, your fitness level, has it affected you in, in, in any way? Because it must have been quite difficult, right? Yeah, it was actually difficult at, at the start because the tempo of the, the players in Gelam, they are really doing well in training and the league as well is not very easy. So, getting back to fitness, getting back to shape, it's been a challenge. But I guess I'm up for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we like to hear. As I told Jared earlier as well, you guys both are like, you know, the future of Singapore fo- football. So, you know, we are going to be a lot of, I would say, I would say pressure, but a lot of eyes are going to be on you guys because, you know, in over the next 10 years, there's going to be a lot of changes in the game as well. But of course, uh, we are going to start, you know, with something fun, okay? Because usually we get a lot of fans to ask questions and I don't want to be so yeah. serious in this show. You know, it's a little bit more yeah. chill, right? So we have questions from a lot of fans for both Jared as well as Joshua. So I hope you guys are ready. Um, I'm going to start first with you, Jared. <laughs> okay. You okay. have a very interesting, you know, background. Maybe you can share with me a bit on your life background. Um, because someone has asked here, uh, the person's name is Diary of a Red. She or he wants to know, are you related to Liam and Noel Gallagher from Overseas? <laughs> and do you have a favorite Overseas song? Which is fair enough. It's a fair question, isn't uh, it? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I am not related to either of the Oasis brothers. I, I have a good relationship with my brother. I'm not like them. But uh, no, I do have, a, I guess, Wonderwall. It's, I guess it's a, it's, a, it's a standard answer. But yeah, I would say that's my favorite Oasis song. You know, it's a, it's a good song. You can fast at any occasion. <laughs> 
but your upbringing, you were, you said that you, you know recently you, you 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 were not originally born in Singapore. Were you? Oh, you can share with us um, no, about that. I I was born in Singapore, so I studied here until I was in primary two, and then uh, I moved overseas first to Shanghai and then to Hong Kong, and then I came back for for national service. So yeah, so I spent quite a few years overseas, but I would come back to Singapore quite often. So I was still I'm very very comfortable here. And you must have been proud, right? Recently playing for the national team as well and representing us. Yeah, I think that you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I would say like by far it's my proudest achievement so far. You know, playing for Singapore last year AFC or even this year AFFC games. Like all all the achievements are are things that I'll never forget, and I'm I'm super happy and and proud to be able to to wear the the Singapore shirt. Yeah. Okay, nice one. Okay, Joshua, we're gonna go to you. It's a question from yeah. Jeremy Lim, and this is something also I want to ask you. It's not really you know that. Uh, controversial yeah we go to that in a bit but he wants to know your thoughts on Geelang's performance this season so far because unfortunately you guys are not you know as you would like to be you know but but what are your thoughts I guess it's we performance wise we are up to par with actually all the teams above us like let's say Haugang, Balestier Tajopaga even Young Lions as well they have been playing really, really good, but unlucky at times not to get the goal. Maybe <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. apart from that, the performance has been good so far, but just the result. We're just looking for the results. So, you're you're yeah. happy? You're, you're personally happy at Gilang, are you? Or... Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. The team is actually really tight knit, and uh, we all, we all like really close together, and yeah. So, okay, uh, before you guys came on, I think, uh, Joshua, you're telling me you know Jared uh, from somewhere before. So, maybe you can share with me how you guys know each other. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll let, I'll let, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, we were doing the, these, this Sunday morning session, I guess, for guys that were in NS, you know, that they, they couldn't train. So, Coach Fandi took it. And uh, I happened to meet Josh there. And, um, yeah, we got along quite well. You know, it was a hot Sunday morning session. Like, everyone was tired. <laughs> I think it was maybe 8 a.m., something like that. And this was before I was even with Young Lions. So I was, I was definitely nervous. And then I, I, I recognized Josh as well, I think, at the time. Because I knew, you know, he was ex-Young Lions, you know, national team, under-23s. So I was like, wow. Um, and then we met there. And then we were in the same army camp as well. So, wow. Yeah. So you guys go back a long way, you know. So much memories created. <laughs> Joshua, what's your memory of, of Jared? Like, uh, yeah, I met him at uh, one of the morning training sessions and we actually had not enough guys to train. So we actually trained with girls. Yeah, wow, yeah, 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 we're sharing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, from then on there, I saw him in camp, I think. Uh, one of the furthest camps in Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really Can't name names, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, it's not fun, it's not fun. But yeah, I'll see him in camp. I'll ask him how his game is. I'll see him doing pull-ups, actually. I saw him walking by. I saw him walking by, so I had to step a bit, you know, act like I'm actually step a bit. <laughs> act like you're in it. Okay. Get, get the last rep exactly. Get the last rep in. So he can he can give some good things back to the, the coaches and stuff, you know, make, make them think that I'm, I'm working hard. Hype you, help you up, lah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, so okay, speaking of you know, hyping up, I just want to ask you guys as well, since you've been playing in the Singapore Premier League and Jared for you, I would say at least half a season now. Um which other players in the league have you been impressed by uh, whom you've gone up against? Um, okay. I mean, I think there are a lot of like top, top players in the league, especially I think when you play against the foreigners, they're kind of like a step above. You see like, yeah. you, like um, Joshua was mentioning that like Geelang trained at a high intensity and been unlucky. Like I think Bezakort is a very, very good player. Like we played him once in, in preseason and I've played Geelang twice now in the season. And I think every time I played against him, you can really see that he has a lot, a lot of quality. Like, He's good with his left foot. He's good with his right foot. You know, he he can finish. He can create for others. And I think um, Kyoga as well. You know, I guess yeah. for me specifically playing in midfield, like playing against those two and marking them, they've both been really, really good technical players. And it's hard to get the ball off of them. You know, they're always moving. So if I was to pick two, it be it would be them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Kyoga has been like a a machine for Tampines. Uh. And um, what about you, Joshua? I mean, which players have you been impressed by? Um, you know, Bezakot, of course, your teammate, as Jared mentioned. Yeah. Anyone else, like, from other teams, perhaps? Um, so far this season, I think Ryo, Nishiguchi, yeah, from Tanjo Paga, everything he touches tends to go. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another one who I think deserves to mention would be probably one of my closer friends, Zafan. He's doing really, really well in goal for Tanjo Paga. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Zarfan, of course, coming from Young Lions as well, and then yeah. yeah, there has been a dearth of goalkeepers. I think that Singapore football needs, and hopefully, is the next one. Yeah. Um. And Joshua, we have a fan question here from Javier Yo. He wants to know: Can you speak Chinese? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think I can, but <laughs> say some, say a line, say a line. <laughs> People just don't understand me. <laughs> no, okay. actually, I can't. Yeah, I don't speak Chinese. So you, but what? I studied Chinese. Oh, you studied Chinese. Yeah, I can. Okay, let me try. <laughs> it's Chinese here. Uh, Chinese, yeah. Okay, say say a line like I love the SPL or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. <laughs> oh, I cannot. Hi, oh, Josh. Josh. Know. Josh, I man. What? Teacher or the league? <laughs> exactly, my Chinese. Jared, you got it. Can you can you say I love the yeah. SPL? Okay. Um. 我爱新加坡的足球比赛. I I don't know what the SPL oh, is in Chinese, but I'll say that. Yeah. No offense. I got it. I got it. In Shanghai and Hong Kong. Oh yeah, yeah exactly. he was. Yeah, I have a little bit of an advantage. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We forgot that important bit, Joshua. That you Hong Kong for a while. Okay, Josh. You know all that aside. I mean, I asked your teammate Raihan Stewart this question. You know, um, when he was on SPL Social a couple of weeks ago, yes. there are a lot of football fans in Singapore tend to write off Young Lions in the league. So you know, many people. I, I'm sure you see the comments on social media, or maybe you guys don't. But um, what do you have to say about that? You know, like, um, do you think Young Lions is you know the right way forward for for Singapore youth football? Um. Yeah, I would. I would say so. Like, I mean, for me, I've only ever played played for Young Lions in Singapore, and I think the the idea of development is is really important because it's it's tough for young players to play in a professional league because obviously the it's it's a results based business and de- development isn't really the the most important um target. So with Young Lions, you know, we kind of have that as as the main focus, so we can look at the future rather than the the present. And I think. A lot of times, people forget that the national team is almost entirely made of ex young lions players. You know, like there has been success because of the young lions. So I think people have to be more patient and realize that it's not about now; it's about the future. And I think all all of us are are really dedicated to to football. You know, a lot of us are NSF and we train after a whole day of of being in camp and stuff like that. So like people have to understand that at times, you know, we're not gonna have. The best performances, maybe because there, there's a lot of other stuff going on in life. You know, there's there's things off the pitch that maybe are distracting us as well. Yeah, yeah, and mental health is a huge thing as well in, in football, and, and you know, taking care of yourself. And I, I guess friends are very important as well. You know, in in you guys' life, which brings me to my next question, Joshua. Um, you know, of course, many people submitted a lot of uh, your fans also submitted. I had to say a shout out to the Malaysian national player Dominic as well <laughs> for sending in a question. He's always getting involved in our show, but unfortunately, we can't ask you know the question. Um, but one fan, Skanky, wants to know, um, Joshua, who is your best friend at Geelang and why? At Geelang, mm, I would say my longest friend and closest would be Omar because I joined Geelang about two years ago before I enlisted. And he's probably the only one, uh, apart from Faris Fan, that is still at Kilang. So yeah, we we stay pretty near each other as well. So we hang out after training. But the whole team actually hangs out. Ah. Likes of uh, Zaifa, Azwan, Tajali now just join Kilang. Yeah. And uh, even the foreigners as well. Sometimes we go to Mama. Yeah, ma- uh, makan together lah. Ah, yeah. nice. So I mean that's very important. Team bonding, isn't it? And okay, that's a that's very nice to know because I always like hear that sometimes you know in football I'm sure that you guys will agree that there are certain cliques that you guys have yeah. small groups, and I think it's important to sometimes come together, right? Okay, Jared, yeah. we have like a couple of fans who who want to also hear from you, and um some of them messaged me and said they were really excited to have you on the show actually. So one of them is Ng Yao, and she wants to know what is your favorite EPL club. Oh, um, my favorite EPL club is. I'm not a be- I'm not the best fan, but Chelsea. Chelsea is my my team. If I if I had to pick one, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not the most diehard fan, but yeah, I, I would say Chelsea. Okay, fair enough. At least you didn't say man you nah, just kidding. Joshua was your <laughs> what's your what's your email? I wouldn't want to say. Oh <laughs> no, why not though? I bet you know it's awesome, one, I bet. Uh, okay, uh, okay, that's fine. No, I'll just I'll just pulling a leg about, you know, because the last season hasn't been the best. But okay, yeah. we have this uh we have this tradition on SPL social where we ask everybody what is their favorite local food. Okay, so Jared, 
I have to ask you, you have a favorite local food that you like to eat? Um, I won't say chicken rice because I saw Raihan's episode and I know that that is the standard answer I refuse to. <laughs> so I'll go with something a bit, I'll, I'll go with carrot cake. I'd say carrot cake, like black carrot cake is my the favorite. Black yeah. carrot cake, not the white one. Black carrot cake, not the white one, black. Is there a reason why? Like you like... Uh... I don't know. I just like, I guess for breakfast, you know, eggs, carbs, um, it just tastes good. It's probably not the healthy, definitely not the healthiest thing. Maybe once, mm-hmm. once every once in a while, but no, I'd say just it's easy. Yeah, it's not, it's not too, too out there. Josh, favorite local food? For me, would you consider Eurasian food local? Like yeah, of course. Shepherd's yeah, food. shepherd's yeah. pie. Yeah. And since my you dad, mentioned, yeah, my my dad makes one of the best shepherd's pies that I've ever had. I haven't tried. Yeah, so shepherd's yeah. pie, I would say. Shepherd's pie is, is very nice, I have to admit, you know. Um, and since you mentioned Eurasian food, I have to say, I think the Eurasian Association will be very happy to have two Eurasian players <laughs> on the show today. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you're making them proud. I'm sure that they are very proud of you, both of you, you know, for representing the association. Okay, I want to ask as well, um, you know, more about your journey as a pro player. Right? So, Jared, because you're still quite young, right? Um, you mentioned as well, we, we, we know that you're quite, you're quite busy off the pitch as well and you write, I believe you have your own podcast. So can you share with me, you know, um, all the other things that you do on the site and, you know, um, also maybe a bit of your journey to becoming a pro player and why you decided to also do all the other things on the site? Um, I'd say, I, like, honestly speaking, I, like, I maybe had a dream to be a professional footballer, but I never thought it would actually happen because living overseas and stuff like that, I, just, I played football, obviously, but I never really thought I would ever become a professional. So I was sort of preparing for the future in like terms of school and stuff like that. I wanted to, to maybe get into journalism and writing and all that sort of stuff. So when I, when I came back to Singapore for NS and I had the opportunity to play for Young Lions, I didn't really let that stuff go either. You know, like just because I started playing football, I still had interests off the pitch. So over time, I just sort of put the two together, you know, writing articles about maybe my teammates and like different things that I, enjoy writing about or like even writing about NS or like you mentioned um, I recently started a podcast as well so all these different little things are uh, things I guess I, I, I was always interested in but now that I have a, a platform I guess a small platform because I play football like I can sort of bring bring light to that yeah yeah you guys should definitely follow Jared um, on social media and see what he's been up to off the pitch um Joshua, I want to ask you as well um, about your career as a professional footballer. Now, obviously, you've turned, a, you've turned pro, right? Um, but if you weren't a professional footballer, you know, what other passions do you have? What, other, what career route would you take? <laughs> if I wasn't a professional footballer, let me see. <laughs> um, I actually did hospitality and tourism in poly, so I have a diploma in that. And that diploma allows me a higher chance to get into SQ. And I actually wanted to join SQ instead of uh, playing football because I would like to travel the world, right? Yeah. But wow. as well, football allowed me that because I traveled to China, I traveled to Qatar, Iran, Europe, just to play football. So I'm pretty fortunate with that. Okay. You know, the skies are opening up now, so you never know, you know, yeah. there's still time to apply for SQ. But I'm, I'm just like, you know, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it, yeah, by the way, we of course still want you to play in the SPL. Okay, and we have a fan question as well from Shiok. He says, um, do you have any tips for us to improve? Um, if you want, if you are young players, what should we do to improve our game? Thank you, she says. Um, I, don't, I mean, I'm still a, a young, I don't know if I'm in a position to give advice yet, but I'd say just hard work, honestly. I think one of the things that I've, like when I was a younger player, I wasn't really a standout player. That's why I, part of the reason I never thought I was going to play professionally, but I guess just over time, you know, as long as you keep working hard and you stay focused, like just keep doing the basic things right. And eventually you'll, you'll, you'll get to a level where maybe you're better than your peers. Yeah. Just hard work. Nice. Hard work is important, right? And Joshua, what about yourself? Um, advice for, you know, young kids, um, advice you have for aspiring young kids who want to follow in your footsteps? For me personally, I would say, uh, no matter what, always do your best. When you go on the pitch, do your best. There are times where things are not going to work out for you, but you got to stand up, stand back up, and uh, try again, keep fighting. And definitely put in the hard work, because without hard work, talent uh, won't get too far. Mm. Remember, guys, whoever's watching this, all the young kids, they always ask, how can I be a professional <laughs> footballer? 
we're getting two of the youngest, I would say, the future stars of Singapore football sharing. <laughs> okay, speaking of future stars, um, jo- uh, Jared, you've got your good friend, I, I believe, in Young Lions, okay? Daniel Crichton, and he wants to know, ask him what does TS means to him? And this is always happening on SPL Social, where players always like to ask questions to each other. Uh, and I would like to know why. <laughs> So, um, can you share what TS means? Or if not, we will... <laughs> we will. Um, T- TS is like a little group chat that we have uh, for some of the guys at Young Lions, you know, the four of us, Raihan, Harris, um, Daniel, and, and me. So, I, I can't reveal what TS stands for. <laughs> I think I'll keep that confidential. I'll keep that confidential. But, you know, it's just... It's a, it's a, it's a good group of friends, you know. We, we push each other on the pitch. And, um, like, we, like, we, we enjoy ourselves, our, our, our time together off the pitch as well. I'd say that. It's, a, it's just a good friend group, yeah. Nice, and it's so important to have that good friend group as well. We were speaking earlier as well, you know, and I always see that they're commenting on your posts and, and you know, cheering you guys on. So I think it's, it's, it's important. Okay, Joshua, we've got a question for you from Not Really Aaron. She or he wants to know, tell us what you always do in your free time. What do I always do? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I usually go out. I explore. Maybe on an off day, have a drink or two, but not too many. So, yeah. So, it helps will, you relax and yeah, prepare for just the next time. Yeah. I will what? also go out with my girlfriend and whatnot. So, yeah. Nice. Busy, yeah, busy man. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. And um, from Clarice, I think her name, what's your most memorable goal that you've ever scored? For me or Jared? Uh, for you, uh, Joshua. Sorry. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't score any goals I don't score any goals so <laughs> don't ask me I think one of them was the first goal of the season for Young Lions I think we won 2-0 against Haugang yeah everybody was writing us off that season and Haugang was a pretty decent team they had a really good team and uh, yeah I scored off from a corner yeah okay yeah, that's nice to know nice to know Okay, we've got a couple more questions before we close the show. But um, thank you so much, guys, for sending in your questions. And once again, remember that we have a Get the Last Goal Scorer contest. Let us know who you think is going to get on the score sheet for the game between Tanjong Paga and Lion City Sailors. That's going to be a massive clash of the weekend. And I cannot wait for that. Okay, Jared, question from Charmaine Yao. Who is your favourite local and international footballer? Ooh, um, Ooh. I'll start international because that's I think it'll be, I say Thiago. Alcantara, the, okay. the Liverpool yes. player. I yes. think just the way he he controls the ball, the way he passes the ball, just everything he does with the ball is, is just ridiculous, like how good he is. So I'd say like him without a doubt. I think he's just amazing to watch. And somebody that's very underrated as well, Busquets. I think Busquets mm. is super, super underrated. Um, locally, I'll be honest, growing up, I didn't really watch that much Singaporean football. But since I've been back in Singapore, I think... I'm, I'm quite close with Zofami because he spent quite a bit of time with us um, games, training yeah. and also at Sea Games. And I think he's, he's a really, really good technical player. Like what he can do with both feet is, is really, really amazing as well. Yeah, so I'd say them. Hey, hi Zofami if you're watching this. So uh, great stuff from, uh, from Jared as well. And what about yourself, Joshua? I mean, your favourite local player as well as inter- um, international. Favourite local player, I would say, right currently playing right now, I would say... Harris, he's been a true professional leader on and off the pitch. Yep. Yeah. So, and his performances this year are pretty outstanding. Looking at Lion City Sailors at the top of the table. Yeah. And yeah. Internationally, I, I would, besides the controversy and everything, I still like Pogba. Oh. Yeah. His class, his passes, his vision. Only thing off the pitch, a bit. Yeah. yeah. Sadly, did you know that his documentary has been rated 1.0 on IMDb? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, it's not it's rated. Not. No, you gotta help him. You gotta help him get his ratings up. I don't know. Did you guys watch the documentary, Jared? Did you watch it? Yeah, I, I've got the first few episodes. It just oh, makes him. No. It doesn't make him look great. He's just so full of himself. Why is it like a hype kind of uh, show or? Uh, uh, he he's if he's because he's the one that's directing, right? He's controlling oh, everything, so okay. you know he's. He, he's the one that's just showing you what he, he wants you to see. So I guess uh, I don't really trust it, right? I don't really trust <laughs> it. Yeah, there we go from the future media man, perhaps Jared Gallagher. 
Okay, guys, before we go, I just wanted to get you guys to say a message or two to the fans who are watching this, fans of, you know, SPL and, and yeah, I mean, maybe we'll start with you first, Joshua. Uh, shout out to the fans of SPL, everyone. You guys are the reason why we come down and give 100% every game, especially towards the Ultra Eagles fans. No matter what, we will still go out there and give our best, no matter what the scoreline is, and hopefully we will, we will perform better and do what we, we repeat the scoreline for Tanjung Pagar and get the win on Saturday. Nice. Okay, and Jared, what about yourself? Um, yeah, I, I'd say the same. You know, the, the fans are definitely a, a massive reason as to, to why us players get motivated for games. You know, when we see fans in the, in the stands and um, we hear them on a, on a match day, like, it gives us an extra boost for sure. So I just want to thank all the fans for, for their support and hopefully we can keep improving the, the standard of the SPO and it gets better and better, yeah. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Thank you so much, Jared and Joshua for joining me today on SPL Social. You know, all the best with your careers ahead of the season and, you know, continue to fly the flag high, I would say, for both Singapore and local football. We're very proud of you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. And once again, yeah, and do follow them on social media, guys, you know, and, and leave comments whenever they play. I'm sure they would love to hear from you guys as well. And do stay tuned for the future episodes of SPL Social. I'm Ashwashima Futbolita and I'll see you guys next time.